Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today I'm gonna to show you the always on display on the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. The great thing about this is it is always on when your phone is just sitting down. So you can instantly see the time, the date, your battery percent, and other notifications. And today I'm gonna to show you how to customize this and make use of it fully. So the first thing to note is this does not take up that much battery. And even um, when it is in your pocket or in a bag, it actually turns off when it is dark so that it is not going to always dis display. Now the first thing, if you see a notification on here, you can interact with the always on display by double tapping twice. So here I can go to the Dropbox notification by tapping twice, or even my home button is on the always on display. So if I just tap that twice without even pressing down, it is going to let me go in to the phone. So now let me show you how you can adjust the always on display. So if you want to pull down, if you pull down the notification bar, pull it down again, and then if you go over here to the right side, you will see always on display is enabled. If you would like to, you can actually click that and it will completely turn off the always on display so it is no longer going to show the time. To adjust the always on display, the fastest way to do it is to pull down your notification bar and scroll over and go to the always on display in the quick settings. Now you have two options here. One, you can click on always on display and you can instantly change it from a digital clock to analog, the world clock, or the calendar. But I want to hold down on the clock right here. That will then take me into the full always on display settings. Here at the top, I can go to Samsung themes and actually download more clock faces. Here I can turn the display on and off so nothing would be shown. I can also change what content is shown. So here the home button and clock or information, here just the clock or information, and here the home button only, but here we want the most one available. And then here I can adjust exactly what is shown. So right now it's on the digital clock, but if I click here, it is going to open up the settings for an analog clock. So I can change the style right here. And then if I want, I can actually change the color. So I can instantly change that and see what it will look like on my lock screen. And then I also have background options. So it's a very light background that you'll see back here where it is changing that and you can see the colors show up. And then if I'm done, I can hit apply and then hit apply again and it will change the always on display. Here I have world clock, I have a calendar. Again, there are multiple options that you can use for each of these. But one of the really cool things is I can choose image right here. So in the image, you can actually set a custom image to always be on the background. So here, if I want to change the image, I can go in here and do that and select any item that I have in my gallery. I suggest that you use an image that has quite a bit of dark in it. If not, it will still show up great. Um, on my little logo that I used here, so I have a PNG file where the background is black, so it looks really nice and clean. When I'm done, I can hit apply again, and it will add that. And then here we can actually adjust the edge clock. So this is what will show up on the very side of your screen. So you can have this turn on um, at night. So when you look over on maybe the nightstand, you see the clock right there. Again, I can adjust the color of it. And then I can also change the position from right or left on the screen. Then here I can turn off always show. So maybe I want it to only show during the hours of 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. I can do that right there. And if you wanna to check to see if there is an update about the always on display, make sure you click on there and you will see an update option. So now let me show you how to interact with the notification that is on the always on display. So here we have the notification that has shown up. So instead of going and unlocking the phone and going into the text messaging app, all I need to do is double tap right there and it will go right into the app and it will show me that notification, which is really easy. And then I can respond back very quickly. So now one other thing that you can do on the lock screen is you have lock screen controls with the always on display. So if I just tap the image twice, it will then give me the option to go and play media that I have. So here I can click play and I don't even have to go into my phone's music player to do that. So whatever music app is supported will show up on the lock screen. So here again, I can just click left or right 
and change that from the clock over to the lock screen controls for the music app. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below so that I can quickly get back to you and make sure that you subscribe so you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. If you would like to be a part of my Galaxy S8 crew, make sure you head on over to YouTube and go to my channel page. When you are there, click the playlist at the top and then you can go down here to the how to use the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Then you can turn on the notifications right here so that every time I upload a video about the S8, I will put it in here and you'll be notified so you can instantly learn more about how to use this great phone. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.